so this is the this is the one of the first versions of the nightmare maps and uh, as you can see it takes place in a forest so this is how the one of the very first affair of monsters maps how this looked like so here i am running around in a forest trying to figure out where I am and how I got there. So hopefully I shall find my way out. But as it was like, I don't know, like eight years ago I made this level. Uh, I really can't find where I'm supposed to go. But yeah, now it seems like I found it. Okay, so here it is, the, the house. First, it took place in a in a castle, but I don't have that map. So uh, this is, I think this is the second version of the nightmare map. So now let's enter. No, I can't. I need to find. Uh, whoa! Here we have a monster. So let's find that button. Here it is. Well, there's a monster, I need to kill him. Alright, let's proceed. Okay, there's a lot of monsters here. Um, there's another button. So yeah, here, this is how the nightmare map looked like in the beginning. And, uh, yeah. And then uh, <coughs> you come to some cliffs. And you have to jump down in some ugly water. And then, oh yeah, a lot of monsters here. Then you have to climb up this. And you walk, walk, climb, 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 climb. Well, now die. But yeah, you can. You can see how uh, how it looked before. But. Um, as you can tell, I, I wasn't really happy with this map. It looked it looked shit. It looked very bad. And uh, it looked bad, and the rest of the map, that maps looked alright. This map, nah. But it could be interesting to show you this map anyway how it was supposed to look like before. And then you enter this little corridor. So yeah, I wasn't so uh, sure about the nightmare map at that point. I didn't like that you were playing in an actual uh, kind of realistic environment with uh, those woods and houses and stuff so uh, I decided to make it more like dreamish and uh, more nightmarish so that then I had to like uh, come up with an idea like with those the black background with the white sketch drawings so I came up with that idea by I was drawing in paint I was using a black background with then I draw some white lines and I, I made a tree and, uh, and it turned out pretty good, it looked nice. So I decided to use those pictures as textures for the map and I just wrapped it in, the, put it in the map and, and the result was pretty nice. And here I have some, uh, some pretty interesting uh, drawings. Um, I'm always drawing when I want to create something. Um, otherwise, I I can't create it. <laughs> so here's I'm lying in my bed. 
Okay, here is um, some drawings to, uh, to the nightmare map. And uh, this corridor is the, the first corridor that appears in Affair of Monsters, the original. And that's the fence corridor with those eyes and faces looking at you. And those points here are the red dots. The dots, um, um, they aren't inspired by Max Payne, they are, I didn't play Max Payne before I made the, the mod, so if, so, <laughs> Afraid of Monsters has nothing to do with Max Payne, actually I played Max Payne after I had created Afraid of Monsters, so, the red dot ideas are my own idea, and I got the idea from uh, my brother's friend who, uh, who told me, uh, who said, his trip when when he took LSD he saw a lot of dots a lot of colored dots and that's why I had a lot of colored dots as well in the nightmare map and then I chose to you to follow a certain color that was the red color and that that's why I made uh, those dots so yeah here's the fence and uh, those eyes are uh, concepts to uh, the white sketch area in the nightmare map Here's another interesting uh, picture that I found to use as, as inspiration for the nightmare map. Uh, I don't know what this actually is, it's some kind of uh, commercial thing. But uh, those trees, white trees and black background, they inspired me pretty much. So It's actually cool that I have saved all this. But yeah, here's another uh, concept to the um, the hospital. Uh, all those uh, papers are concepts for the original Afraid of Monsters. So this is not this is uh, no Afraid of Monsters director's cut concepts. So here you can see the um, the hospital. Um, here's the bathroom but uh, it was switched to this area instead and here you start and uh, this is the visitor room and the stairs and uh, it doesn't look exactly like how it looks in uh, in game now I sometimes have to change the look of the map when I map it because of I don't know technical issues or something um, yeah, and this is another easy concept for the hospital. I, I usually draw when I was in school and, uh, and when I didn't have any paint, uh, color pencils, I was just writing which color it should have. Like here, it says that it should have an orange color and the floor should be orange and, uh, and yeah. This is the garage map. It looks uh, totally the same as how it looks in the mod. Except this isn't a bus, this is a SWAT team police vehicle. Actually, we can go back to the hospital blueprint. Yeah, like here. I can show you in the actual uh, source map to this certain area. Now remember this staircase and um, those beds and those wooden planks over here. And I'm going to show you it in Valhammer. The program I'm using for uh, mapping the for mapping yeah for mapping. So here's the staircase that I told you to remember. You've seen it in uh, various trailers and uh, and uh, videos. And I thought it it could be cool to show it in the actual program, and I'm amazed on, uh, on how I've been able to store it, to back up it and such. And here's their beds, the morgue, and here's the wooden planks. 
it there, there. So yeah, here's how it looks in the Valhammer editor. This is a very old map. It's too old. So yeah, that was the beds. And uh, so you can see how I'm creating my maps. I'm always drawing them up either in uh, papers or in uh, in uh, paint. Usually paint, but now I'm using Photoshop to to make my uh, blueprints for Cryfair, even though it looks like paint. Or if I'm at work and I want to draw some some ideas quickly, I'm using uh, post-its that I hang up on my screen. This is a top secret uh, blueprint for a map to Cryofear, the upcoming mod that I'm uh, working with. So it can lie there. Back to those drawings again. Here's uh, a drawing to uh, uh, the director's cut version, it's the City 3X map. And uh, here's some uh, paper uh, paper things that I've collected to to get inspiration for uh, for the Sur Garden map in uh, the director's cut version. So yeah, I got the inspirations for for the maps. I wanted to, it to be like a it's called English. Just a trashy area outside the city with those uh, trashy apartments. So yeah, there's another. Yeah, I mean, look at it. I use this as a fucking reference. What is this? Yeah, whatever. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of uh, concepts uh, for the. For the maps, uh, this is the nightmare have map after the lake. You can see the awesome face there, <laughs> and it, this is quite cool. Uh, my, my sister's daughter, she, she was uh, nine years old when she drew this, and she drew a concept for it. It doesn't say much, but yeah. Another drawing, um, the nightmare map. That's that's where you find the UC, and that's the the mirror that breaks when it tells you to go down. And, uh, that's the staircase room, and uh, this is the office. And this is the bottom floor, the and <laughs> it's actually upside down. Yeah, this is the entrance and the kitchen. Uh, Basement, to toilet, and uh, living room, and yes, yeah. so something in the back side here. Yeah, concept to how I should make the uh, what we call this in English. Whatever you can, you can probably see what area this is, and uh, I was sketching on the. How we should make the lamps, and I was using uh, brushes to make those uh, things, and then on the complex areas, I was using transparent textures. Uh, and yeah, it's another paper things for uh, actually, this is uh, Resident Evil Cold Blood concepts. I was using this, this house uh, is in uh, Resident Evil Cold Blood, it should, it should be here. This is a concept for uh, the ending. This is the first ending. I was drawing uh, a storyboard for it. And this is the director's cut ending one the storyboard. And the, the police is coming in and ah, boom! And uh, yeah, cast. This is the ending, um, ending three forest blueprint for that, and this is some other concept for you can see the big clock there. 
Most of the ideas I get is from my dreams, and you know, dreams are fucked up, and especially my dreams, they fucked up in the face there. And uh, so, in my dream, I saw a big clock, big white clock in the distance. Uh, or not really in the distance, but it was uh, pretty awesome, and I used that.